guys, it's your girl Purely Janice back once again. Today we are going to be installing this beautiful wig that I have on my head, but we are going to be doing that with a little bit of a spin. I will be collabing with Kalechi. We will both be installing bob wigs. So if you have not already, go ahead and head over to her YouTube channel, Kalechi TV. I will have it linked down below in the description box, as well as displayed on the side of me along with her Instagram page. Her channel is full of amazing things. She has skincare on there, a bunch of helpful wig install tips and tricks. Head on over there, check her out. I promise you, you guys won't be disappointed and do the same thing with her Instagram. Y'all just go show some love, okay? She is grinding, she is doing her thing, and I am loving it. I don't wanna waste any time. I wanna get straight into this wig install because it turned out great. I love it. So if you guys wanna see how I achieve this beautiful look, go ahead and keep watching. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button before you continue. And without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Purely Janice in the flesh, y'all. I am back here to do big things, <laughs> period. So ignore this white spot on my face. I'm trying to get rid of this acne scar that I did to myself. But other than that, we're going to moisturize our lips and get into it, okay? I forgot to show you guys, but I did use the Shine and Jam to lay my edges down. My edges were gone, y'all. And when I say gone, I mean nowhere to be found after doing these wig videos for a minute, which is why I stopped. So I developed this new method where I just lay them back and keep them snatched, okay? And they are all there. My hairline is not receding i just have a big forehead but when you lay them down under this wig cap i promise you they will not go anywhere so make sure you do this step then we are going to go in with our got to be glue free spray to prep our wig cap for installation I have been out of the wig game for so long that I forgot to cut out my ears through the wig cap to make laying this part that I'm trying to lay down right here easier. I could not figure out why I couldn't get it to lay flat. I was so mad y'all, I cannot stress this enough. But finally, later on I figured it out and got myself together. Don't judge me guys, I couldn't find my regular hair scissors so I had to make do with these but whatever gets the job done is fine with me. But I'm not going to do much more talking for the rest of the video, I'm just going to let you guys sit back, relax and watch me slay another wig install. Enjoy! these really dark colored wig caps that match the same tone as my foundation at the beauty supply and flipped out y'all I was so happy to find these because that extra step of putting that makeup on is so annoying to me so I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you guys can go copy some as well because these are a huge time saver Okay, one more thing, I promise. I joined the Ghost Bond Club, y'all. This was my first time trying it. I was so scared. But when I tell you guys this changed the game for me, 
If y'all thought my wigs were good then, they're about to be spectacular now. This ghost blonde, ghost blonde, this ghost bond stuff is the truth, okay? Had my wig snatched, laid down perfectly, and 100% securely. When I tell you guys I love this stuff, oh my gosh, just oof, yes. Okay, pause. I don't even think I have to say it, but just in case I do, look at that meltdown. Just, oh, I love it. I love it. Because we are doing a deep part for our style, I am going to have to prep the hair by parting it in place and then laying it down so that it is nice and flat. And while doing that, I also do my edges before styling so that they can lay down nice and flat when the look is entirely complete. I flat ironed this wig off camera and oh, uh, let me tell y'all, this is a flashback of high school Tiana. I used to wear my natural hair like this every single day. So when I tell y'all I was feeling myself on a whole different level, yes, just ooh, yes. And last thing, I cannot let the quality of this hair go unmentioned. I've had this for a minute and the hair quality is still nice shiny bouncy healthy and natural looking just in love all right guys this is the finished look i'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see yeah my curls are popping okay i did this i did these curls with a flat iron okay not a wand a flat iron i think they turned out really really nice there's something about big beautiful bold waves and curls with on short hair it just looks so elegant yet sexy at the same time and your girl is loving it okay anyways i think this was a great install one thing that i will say about using the ghost bond glue is you really 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 need to be precise because once you lay that lace down honey that is your scalp but i'm loving the meltdown i know with, with got to be glue if i mess up on like a part of the lace that i want to reapply i can just kind of lift it up a little bit put a little glue and fix it but with this ghost bond, that is not the case at all. You really have to be precise. And once you lay it down, that is where it is to stay. So that's just something to take on to my next wig install. And I will use it as a learning experience. But I think we did great this time along. I will link all of the information for this wig down below in the description box. So if you want to go purchase this for yourself, you can go ahead and do so. I've installed this wig before a couple of months back. So the information is on there as well. But for your guys' convenience, like I said, I will put it down below. Other than that, don't forget to go and head over to Kalichi's channel after you're done with this video and watch her version of a bob wig install just so you can see how we do things differently, how we melt our laces down, 
one thing that may work for me might not work for you but something that she does may work for you so go ahead and head over to our channel and yeah that is all for today thank you guys so so much for watching thank you for 5k subscribers your girl is so happy this is a huge milestone especially after my huge hiatus my big break that i took from you guys and just to come back and get back into the youtube world and see the support once again is amazing i promise you guys i am here to stay i love hearing from you guys so please please comment down below let me know what you want to see from me in the future don't forget to like and subscribe as well and i will see you all in my next video bye